hi and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a cone circular skirt pattern and this cone circular skirt is going to be in panels if you're new to my channel welcome please click the subscribe button click the bell so that whenever i post new videos you will always be the first to know and now let's dive into our tutorial so guys the measurements or the things you need to take into account is the length of the cone skirts that you are making if you are making something like as short as a peplum or if you're making something that is going to be running from your waist all the way down you take note of that you take note of how many panels that you want do you want 10 panels do you want 8 panels do you want 16 panels you are also going to need to take note of the wideness at the bottom of your cone um, skirts how wide do you want each panel to be so those things are the things you are going to take note of and some of the things that will be needed is your waist um, circumference okay so that is what you're going to need now my waist circumference is 30 right and i want 10 panels on this um skirt that i want to make so i'm going to be dividing that 30 by 10 and that will give me what three inches now i have my paper on fold and because my paper is on fold i will have to divide that three inches again into two and three inches by two will give me what 1.5 inches so i'm going to come right here so just about one inch from the top, I just mark, you know, like the top line. Okay, so just like this. Now, I just got 1.5 inches, right? So I'll just come from the folded edge of the paper. I'm going to mark that 1.5 inches. Now we're going to have to be joining these panels, you know, together. Each panel will be joined to the other panel by a half an inch seam allowance on both sides. So I'm going to come right here now and mark half an inch. Okay, so this is my half an inch seam allowance and it's going to be on both sides of this cone flare that we are making. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to come right down and mark the length of my cone flare. Okay, so you can be going with 10 inches, you can be going with up to 43 inches. Okay, so I'll just come right here and for this one now, I'll be going with 13 inches, okay? So I mark 13 inches like this. I come right here, I mark 13 inches again because I want to have something like a straight line. So that's why you need to mark your top line at the top. <laughs> your top line at the top so you can get that straight line, okay? So I just join the points like so. And this is what I have. Now, the wideness at the bottom, what do we want it to be? So I'm just going to go with nine inches for the wideness at the bottom of this cone flare. And then I'm going to add half an inch to that. Remember we added half an inch here, okay? And then what I'm going to do is to join the points, the seam allowance to the seam allowance point at the top. Okay, so just like this, I just join it straight up. So did you see that? The next thing I'm going to do is to come here from this folded part at the bottom. I'm going to mark, you can go with, you know, half an inch, one inch, or you can, you know, freehand it, okay? So I'll just come right here and mark half an inch. This will help us to curve this out. Then I'll come right here and mark 2.5 inches. So I'll just come right here and mark 2.5 inches. So what I'm going to do is to just, you know, sort of like curve the bottom out. If you have a curved ruler, you can use that, you know, to, to curve yours out, okay? So I just want to curve it out. Then I'm going to come right here now. Your waist is not straight, okay? Your waist is kind of curved. So I'm going to come right here at this um, folded part. I'm going to mark a quarter inch downwards. You can also go with half an inch, okay? So I just go on to just curve this part. You know out like this now if you want it to be very very curved do you understand at this part and you want to go with half an inch okay you will need to make sure that you adjust this side part before you connect it to the bottom do you understand so this is fine for me and what i'm going to do is to cut this out like this okay so i cut it out like this come right down and then i cut this part out So this is what my cone skirt pattern will look like. So can you see? 
So guys, I realized that 2.5 inches that I marked earlier was a bit too small for the curve effect to come out. So what I'm going to do is to add an extra 1.5 inches, okay? So that will make it a total of what? 4 inches. 1.5 plus 2.5 will be 4 inches. And then I'm going to just curve it out like this. Okay. And then I'll go on to cut it out. And this is what I'm going to be using to cut the remaining eight pieces. Why is it eight pieces? Or the total will come to nine pieces now. I'm going to be cutting out nine pieces of this cone flare unfold because the tenth piece is the part that will have the zipper allowance. So we need to, you know, create zipper allowance for that. Okay. So I'll go on to cut this now and then use it to cut the other pieces. Okay. So this is what I have after cutting and the cone part is going to come out, you know, really, really well. Okay. So I'll use this to cut the other pieces. So guys, after cutting the nine pieces for the cone flare, this is what I have. Okay. So for the zipper allowance part, all I did was to place two pieces of, you know, paper on top of each other. Okay. So I placed the pieces of paper on top of each other. I placed the cone flare just about one inch away from the edge of this paper. That one inch is what is going to serve as a zipper allowance. Okay, so can you see the zipper allowance part right here? And then I'll go on to sharpen out the bottom of the flare like this to create the back panel. Now you can go on to do this on fold. Okay, it's because I had two separate papers, that is why I'm using this. And of course, the back is going to be separated because of the zip that is going to be attached at that point. Okay, so this is what I have. And what I'm going to do now is to go on to join each piece by a half an inch. Okay, so I'll be joining each piece by a half an inch, each cone to each cone panel by half an inch. Do you understand? And I'm going to do it for the entire pieces, entire panels that I have till I get to the back. Okay. So this is what I have for this part. I'll just continue like that. So guys, I'm done pinning this down. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how this looks on a mannequin. So guys, this is how the cone flare looks on a mannequin. If you're going to be cutting this out on fabric, what you're going to use to make the cone flare to stabilize like this is to use something that is very, very stiff, stiff stay or something like collar stay, okay? So depending on what you're going for, you can use collar stay. You can even use baby net and um, boning for this to make it stand out, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos and I'll be seeing you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.